The following portion of Acadiana Live is sponsored by The Scar Lady by Cedar Physical Therapy and Wellness. Now let's head over to Cedar Physical Therapy in Youngsville to learn about some of the treatments Dr. Jennifer Malasson provides. We are back at Cedar Physical Therapy here in Youngsville, visiting with the scar lady, Dr. Jennifer Malasson. And we are talking this week about May being Pelvic Pain Awareness Month. And we'll get to that in a few minutes. But we are also talking about hysterectomy and a scar treatment that you can help people out with. Yes. So, those who have undergone a hysterectomy, what are maybe some pains they might experience? Um, oftentimes, women may experience more bloating in the abdomen, and they may even have pain around their incision or feel a pulling or a tugging. Um, occasionally, scars can be hypersensitive, like when clothing rubs over them, they're like, ow, that doesn't feel really nice, um, or even itch or have numbness around them. So it can be really uncomfortable. Now, what can you do for people? I use a non-invasive tool called the Dolphin NeuroStem, and you use it around a scar tissue, and it helps convert scar tissue back to regular tissue. So we see scars lighten, fade, and the most important thing is that they move more. And that helps your brain to be able to better engage with your core muscles and also help remove that pain and hypersensitivity and discomfort. Now as far as the number of treatments or maybe um, how often, what would you suggest? Um, usually, in the, unless there's a lot of scarring built up, like a keloid scar, um, it usually just takes a couple of treatments and people usually come once or twice a week to get treatment. Awesome, easy enough. Just a couple times a week with the Scar Lady can help you feel better after your hysterectomy if you do have any scar tissue there. Now, moving on to Pelvic Pain Awareness yes. Month. What are some things that we may experience that are signs that we need to see somebody? Both men and women can experience pelvic pain and issues with their pelvic floor. And some common things they may experience are difficulty um, with the bladder that might be um, a lot of urgency or incontinence, like when you cough, sneeze, run, jump, having a little bit of leakage, or even issues with constipation and, um, or pain with um, reproductive organs. And in what way will you work with patients who do or experience some pelvic pain? What ways do you help them alleviate some of that pain? Um, we do an internal and an external examination if the patient is com comfortable and using a variety of different manual treatment techniques. Um, sometimes if there's scar tissue present, we address that. And it's really looking at the whole body because the core is everything from here to here, front, back, all the way around. And the pelvic floor is the bottom third of the core. So we're looking at breathing and how your mobility is, your balance, your strength, and just overall movement. Now I'm curious, are there things that you'll teach your clients to kind of take home with them and exercises they can do at home to help with the pain? Absolutely. Education is one of the foundational pieces and um, that is a big component of what we do is to teach you how to help yourself to continue to get better um, at home and to continue the progress of things we're working on here in the clinic. Absolutely. Now, those interested in making an appointment with you, the Scar Lady, how can they get in touch with you? They can make um, a request to talk on the phone to ask any questions at thescarlady.com or give me a call or shoot me a text at 469-609-0778. And lastly, where are you located? I am in Youngsville, Louisiana in the Metairie Center. Um, we are in the same parking lot as the CeCe's Coffee drive through in the two-story gray building. The Scar Lady at Cedar Physical Therapy, Dr. Jennifer Malasson. Come and see her. Maybe you had a hysterectomy. There's some scar tissue there, or you're, you are experiencing some pelvic, pelvic pain. She can help you out and get you feeling better. Again, you can contact her at that phone number.